Well, howdy there, Internet. How goes it? How goes the travels? Um, what's up? <laughs> this is Muzza Fuzza, as per usual. If, if you see a video pop up for me, you probably know that it's that, that Muzza Fuzza dude guy, bro, ski, that, you know, plays them games. Um, I'm playing them games again today. This is some Call of Duty gameplay commentary. And I know some of you guys are going to be ghost haters and be like, ghost? Oh, man, go oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh. um, don't fret. If you hate ghosts, just tab out and do whatever you would normally do. Check Facebook or Twitter or uh, do something on your smartphone. I know everybody likes to second screen and multitask nowadays, so do what you gotta do if you don't like the ghosts. But if you do like the ghosts, there's some ghosts. And uh, like I said in my last ghost video, I'm not technically trying to hate on ghosts. I was just pointing out the flaws, my personal point of view and opinion on the new Call of Duty game and, and where it falls short, in my opinion. And, uh... I don't even need to get into specific details of that in this video. This video is going to be about uh, basically the good things about Ghosts and what I've learned since Ghosts came out and not even just related to Call of Duty type stuff because I think I'm, I'm, I've moved past just Call of Duty in general, but, you know, gaming and, and habits and hobbies in general. Um, just because when something new comes out, uh, if it's a series in a, in a franchise like Call of Duty or if it's a... Uh, it could be a, a new season of a TV show, like just examples that come to mind for me is like Dexter or Game of Thrones. Um, if like say a bad season of that show comes out, it could ruin the whole show for you and you're like, oh man, but then you know they could just always make up for it with another new season of that show and it could be a, like go above and beyond and be awesome. And then you're like, all right, I'm, I'm back on this bandwagon. And Call of Duty, whether you like it or not, it's the most mainstream shooter in the world. It is a bandwagon game. Everybody loves Call of Duty when it's good, but when it's not good, people complain. And this is the time where I've seen the, the most complaints ever uh, about a, a single Call of Duty game in history. More than Modern Warfare 2, more than Modern Warfare 3. Um, I've seen way more people complaining about ghosts than any other Call of Duty ever. And that's just my take. And I, I consider myself, I'm pretty deep in the gaming uh, sphere of things. I see what goes on. I see what people are saying in the community. I check social media. And uh, they're not impressed. Most people are just not impressed by ghosts. It's just meh. The maps suck. The guns are meh. It's all just, you know, some people like it because they play competitive or whatever. But I just, I don't see the appeal uh, to play it hardcore um, like I used to. And I used to play some, some damn hardcore Call of Duty. Uh, but not not so much anymore, and this is kind of an off year for me, so it's given me kind of a break, and honestly, it's probably healthier and more balanced this way, rather than slaving and playing Call of Duty 12 to 16 hours sessions, uh, because that can get a little ridiculous, obviously. And the new DLC came out, but what, what sucks about that is, like, even if it's good, even if they made four maps that are, you know, fairly decent or better than the stock maps that they came out with, which were god-awful, um... <laughs> Even if they made some maps that made up for it, it's like, dude, you're making people pay 15 bucks for it, or they're getting the season pass. Like, you're making people shell out more money than the $60 they originally paid for the game. Maybe more if they got the uh, limited edition or prestige editions or whatever. Like, people shell out tons of money every year for video games, and DLC and microtransactions and stuff, I'm just, I'm not necessarily against it. I just see it as kind of a greedy move, and uh, especially when, when somebody like the developer of the game, the maker of the game, or the publisher of the game, uh, isn't really taking care of the game and listening to people and their feedback and stuff. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not necessarily deep in the Ghosts uh, player base. So this is all coming from outside of the, the, the Ghosts player base. If you play Ghosts every day, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this in the comments below. Um, because I'm kind of... Uh, I've been, you know, deep in that Call of Duty game, and then I, I take breaks, and I get back into it uh, every now and then. And if Black Ops 3 or whatever game comes out next is really awesome, I'm sure I'll be back on the Call of Duty bandwagon once again. Uh, but those are just my thoughts right now. So if there's anything we can learn from this story, uh, don't let video games affect <laughs> your personal happiness. Don't let video games affect your emotions and your attachments, and don't get butt hurt and angry over something that you have no control over that's the biggest thing that i would probably pass on is like it's it's really stupid to get uh completely uh out of touch with reality and upset and you know violent in in some cases over a video game because some people just lose their shit when they get mad at call of duty and uh, i'm not one of those people anymore i mean I, ra I rage quit back in my day a little bit but i was never like i don't know i always internalized it i never really got up and vocal and angry about things because that when has that ever worked out good for anybody um so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video that was my uh thoughts and uh <laughs> random rant 
about uh, ghosts and what I think you should do. I think you should vote with your dollar. If you like a game, support the game, buy the game. If you don't like a game, don't play the game. Find some new games to play. There's, there's games out there for everybody. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Check out all my links down below in the description, like Twitter and Facebook. I love it when you guys talk to me on there. And I will see you guys next time.